this is a bit of a philosophical question, but it came up and it came up in the, in the psychodrama workshop. But why, why is, why is being witnessed seemingly such an essential part to, um, and I'm not using the part in the language of IFS, but in the context of, um, you know, healing, I guess, for lack of a better word, what, what is, what do, you, what do you think that the role of being witnessed is? And why is it so important? You know, I think, you know, I, I like to extrapolate to larger systems too. If there's a bunch of exiled people in a country who were locked away because of, you know, something that happened, that's what they want. They want to be witnessed. They want you, to, they want the, leaders of the country to get what they did and what how it felt and they want the repair and they they want you to feel what they went through so it's no different these are little from my point of view sacred inner beings who just like people want you to get what you did to them by locking them up and also what happened to them initially when they got hurt so it just makes sense to me you know i I appreciate that. And um, one, one of the other things that I, I found interesting, at least in your conversation with um, Tim Ferriss, is, is you described that where he went to and that I, where I went to, you know, it was, it was a real world. I think you, you said it, um, you know, not just a figment of our imagination. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of misquoting exactly what I said. Yeah. So you said a, a real other world. What do you mean by that? And can you elaborate on it? You know, it's very similar to the world that the shamans go to. That right. Indigenous cultures have been going there for centuries. And it's a real world in the sense that what happens in that world has profound consequences for your life. So it's it's not a fantasy. It's not something you're playing with. But And there are what I call the laws of inner physics, which often are quite different than the laws of external physics. But there are things you can and can't do. It has rules. And, you know, I've been studying that for 40 years now, uh, so I'm quite familiar with it. But it's amazing. Anybody that goes in there, they encounter the same world with the same rules. What are the rules of uh, the inner um, inner universe? I actually wrote about that. I can't remember if it's in the No Bad Parts or the, the IFS uh, therapy book. But there's a, you know, I think I identify about 10 of them that are different than this world. But just to give you some examples, so we didn't actually do this in your work, Ronan, but had that uh, boy wanted you to go and deal with this woman and let her know she shouldn't have done that or whatever should happen, I would have asked you to do that for him. Right. And he would have watched you do that for him. And in contrast to the outside world where you know, we can't change what happened. For that boy, you totally change what happened. You change his experience entirely. Right. So it's it's not true you can't change the past because in this inner world, you totally change the past. But that's just one example of many. 